Hi everybody! We are going to be working on our primary colored monster today. These are the materials that you're going to need and you can find many of your materials in your packet. You will need two coffee filters, your primary color markers, a small spray bottle, or you could just sprinkle water on if you don't have a spray bottle. An eyedropper works also. You will need some glue, scissors, googly eyes, and construction paper. We're going to get started with our primary colors today. And you're going to want to keep your coffee filters together. I try and flatten them out to make it a little bit easier. You're going to use red, yellow, and blue to cover most parts of your coffee filter any way you want. So you want to try and put a lot of color on there and have very few white spaces left. I'm going to show you a little bit with each color and then So there's my red. Oh, and you can see that I'm also working on top of a tray. I'm doing that to protect my table because the marker is going to go through to the second coffee filter and might even go through to your table. So you could also put down cardboard or some newspaper so that you don't ruin your table at home. You can see I'm turning the marker on its side to help me color faster. This is a good trick. And I'm also using my hand to hold the coffee filter down so that it doesn't move around or crinkle up while I am trying to color. So I'm going to finish coloring this. All right, so I, I have colored my coffee filter. It's okay if you want to leave a few white spots and watch the color go into those also. And you can see that my second coffee filter is still underneath. I'm going to take my water bottle, and I don't want to completely soak this, but I do want to give it several squirts of water. All right. I'm just going to watch this for a minute. I'm going to see if we can zoom in here and maybe see some of that color mixing. If we look very closely, right in this area we can see the blue and yellow and what is it making? Some really pretty green. Over here we have the red and blue coming together and we're getting the violet. Let's see, I'm not seeing very much orange. Let's see if we can make some orange happen here. A little more water. And I think we're seeing some of the red start to pull into the yellow to get some orange. So I'm going to have to give this about 20-30 minutes to dry before I can do anything with it. Alright, I just gave my coffee filters plenty of time to dry and the colors mixed together beautifully. I love how this turned out. I'm going to give you a close up here so you can see all the different shades of green, orange, and violet. This is really beautiful. Alright, now we're ready to start the monster. So I'm going to keep my coffee filters together. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just cut around the edge of the coffee filter maybe about a finger length inward not too far 
I'm going to leave a little space between each snip. And as I cut, I just turn the coffee filter a little. These scissors are having a hard time. I'm going to try these other ones. So sometimes we have a hard time snipping with the very end of our scissors. If we open them up a little bit wider, I don't want to cut any further. But usually I'm cutting with a little better part of the scissors if I cut with the middle. So I'm just going to continue to cut. Alright, I just finished with my scissors cutting all the way around the edge and boy is that a lot of cuts, but it is good practice with our scissors. I'm going to take my coffee filters apart. Because I want my monster to look really fuzzy, I'm just going to turn the coffee filters a little bit so they don't quite line up. There we go, that looks really nice. I like the way that looks. Now I'm going to open up my glue. And I'm going to take the top coffee filter off. And I'm just going to put one small dot of glue right there in the middle. We call that just a dot, not a lot. I'm going to put my top coffee filter back on and just tap it down. We'll give that glue a chance to set up. Now I get to have fun. I have my googly eyes. I'm going to decide how I want to put these eyes on. I could space them out really far. I could put them all at the top. I could put them right in the middle. You get to choose where you want to put your googly eyes. I think I like them right about in there. So I'm going to take my glue again and put one small dot on the back of each googly eye. When I press them down, I don't press very hard because I don't want the glue to squish out. One more googly eye. I like how this googly eye has got some green color coming out of the corner of it. Alright. Now I'm going to take my colors. I'm going to see if a red mouth will show up well. My glue is still a little wet and I can see right where it is. I don't want to put my mouth right in the glue. I'm going to go below it. And I'm just going to give him a little mouth. I think my monster needs a funny little tongue sticking out too. And now it's time to add the monster's arms and legs. For this, I'm going to turn my monster over. And I'm going to take my strips of paper. And I'm just going to bend them. So I'm going to bend forward. Backwards. Forward. Backwards. And this we call a zigzag fold. This is just going to allow the mon monster's arms and legs to look bouncy and fun and maybe wiggle around a little bit. Okay, I have folded all four pieces. So I have two for my arms and two for my legs over here and I'm just going to pull them a little bit. You can see they're zigzagged. My cuts end right about in here, so I think I'm going to have my arms sticking up. I'm going to put a little dot of glue for each arm. I'm going to do the same thing, and remember we're on the back of our coffee filter for the arms and legs. Alright, I have my arm here. 
I'm going to hold it on the glue and I'm going to count to 22. It's really important to give your glue a little bit of time to set up. While those ones are setting up, I can put my legs on. There we go. I'm going to give them a couple of seconds to let that glue set up. Now when I flip my monster over, oh he looks fun. I'm going to bring this out just a little bit so you can see my whole monster. And you can still see each of the primary colors. I've got blue, red, and yellow. They've mixed together. Yellow and blue made green. Red and yellow made some orange. And the blue and red made violet. I hope you enjoy making the fuzzy monsters today.